and welcome to Football Player of the Week, brought to you by Fitzwater Station in Port Province Paddle. I'm Ray Dunn, joined by our Football Player of the Week, Pete Agler. Pete had seven tackles, one pass deflection, and recovered a fumble in Springford's big conference win over Norristown this weekend. What really went into that win, Pete? Uh, hard work at practice all week, and uh, our team really played well as a, like, a unit. Our O-line was reading our blocks, and Justin had five touchdowns. He's a beast on the field. And our defense, we were wrapping up and gang tackling. We first our fourth, our first two turnovers of the year with two fumbles. All right, good work from the defense. You personally on that defensive side as a safety, people in this area really assume big guys in the safe position. You know, Brian Dawkins, Malcolm Jenkins, guys in the Eagles, collegially right now, Marcus Allen tearing it up at Penn State. How do you dominate that position given your stature? Well, I don't really care that much about my height. It's, I mean, if I was seven foot, it'd be a good thing, but being five seven, it's really about the heart. You gotta put in hard work. You gotta be stronger than guys that are more athletically gifted. And it's really just about being smaller. You gotta tackle and you gotta make sure all your fundamentals are in check. Absolutely. Now this week, you guys on Friday night will come back home, play at Coach McNally Stadium against Methacton. What are you expecting out of that matchup? I mean, I always expect a W out of our team, and this week especially. It's our first. We haven't had a win at McNelly all year, and that's not good. So this week we look to pick up the first dub. All right. Well, we'll look for that on Friday night for our Football Play of the Week, brought to you by Fitzwater Station and Port Providence Paddle. Pete Agler this week. I'm Ray Dunn, and we will see you next week.